Hello everyone, and welcome back to Create Above and Beyond. In today's episode, we're finally going to take a trip to the end and defeat the Ender Dragon. And I also brought a few goodies, and we might do a few weathers while we're there. I'm actually going to the end to craft a specific item, and that is the Magic Feather. What the Magic Feather does is it allows you to have creative flight as long as you're within range of a beacon. Now to craft that, we do need to get an Elytra, so we'll have to go to the end and do a few end cities to actually craft our feather. That's also why we're doing the wither, so that way we can craft a beacon and have that range to actually fly. And I'm doing more than one wither because, well, first off, because we have the skulls for it. And also, I want to craft an infinity wand uh, because we've gone through, like, maybe 15 diamond wands at this point. So having that infinity wand will really be a game changer and make it a lot easy for us to build large big structures in our new base location. Now before we take our trip to the end, we need to go back to the nether because I currently have zero blaze rods to my name. Now I do hope that our new base has a fortress that is a little bit closer because of the old base, it was quite a trek to a fortress. So let's go ahead and just pop one in our little workshop area here. This will probably move because nether portals are quite loud, but it'll definitely work for now. Um, maybe we'll eventually move it up to our research lab area upstairs. And this seems like not too bad of a spawn. Man, so if anything, I think we're actually farther from a nether fortress. So this is the original fortress we went to. And our original portal spawn, I think, is just kind of down in here. So realistically, we didn't go too much further away. But luckily, I've got my nether buddy steel metal. So we can go ahead and pop that on, and we won't have to worry about dying in lava. All right, looks like we made it back to the fortress. Now, I'm wondering if the nether buddy metal will, like, completely make blazes not worry. Because usually I feel like it's the fire damage that really gets you. Like, how much actual damage do their balls do? Nothing. Wait, is that, is that for real? Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Oh, not you. Oh yeah, it looks like the actual, like, fireballs don't do damage. Oh, that's gonna make this whole process a whole lot nicer. Oh, and check this out. We got a spawner right here and a spawner right here. Maybe eventually we'll have to come back here and either make a double blaze spawner or maybe even grab these spawners and take them back to our base. Because it might be cool to use blaze as our kind of, like, main power source for our factory. All right, I think four stacks of blaze rod and 49 molten cores should be more than enough um, to at least get us to the end and then maybe not have to come back here for a while. I was checking out my bag and it looks like I sadly did not bring everything I need to pick these spawners up and take them home with me. So we'll have to come back in a future episode, grab those spawners and actually make a decent blaze farm and see if there's maybe a way to automate this and get those player kills. So we can automatically farm blaze rods and experience from it, but I think for now, that'll be all we need. Oh, and now that we have blaze rods, we can try out the pyromancer staff, which I think needed... What was it? It was blaze powder, so maybe we'll take like five of these, turn it to powder, and see how this works. Just click on the ground? I know we can click on the ground to like use it as a flint and steel. But how do we actually fire... Oh, there we go. Pew, pew. <laughs> Got him. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think that'll actually be pretty useful for the end in case we run out of arrows. We'll pop that back in our inventory and hang on to it. Okay, so it looks like we have enough for nine Eyes of Ender. Then we had two in our storage place, which gets 11. Max, we would need 12, but then we actually have to get to the stronghold. So I think I'll have to go kill a few Endermen. Because um, I don't really want to chance this and have to go back or go kill Endermen. So let me run back to the Nether. We'll go ahead and kill a few Endermen and then head off to the end. But actually, before we go to the end, I think we have to do a little bit of mining and get some more Eternal Stellas. So this is what I've actually been using to keep all of my tools from breaking. Um, essentially, for each of these, you can right-click it three times and it fully repairs all of your tools 100%. Or you can use it to enchant one piece of gear to be unbreaking, which is what I did with my Extendo Grip. Now for the Eternal Stella, you need these Stellarine pieces and these Expirified Orbs. 
I've got 12 Stellarine pieces, which will actually get me six Eternal Stellas, but sadly, I have no Experified Orbs. These are got from this Experified Orb, which is found on level Y level 1 to 30, and it's relatively common, so we can find it. It's just pretty rare. So I'll have to go ahead and do some mining to fix our tools once, and then I want to create two extra Eternal Stellas. So I want to try to craft three total, one to just repair my tools right now. I want to put one on my diamond pickaxe because that's always breaking the fastest. And then I want to save one for when we eventually get our elytra. So as soon as we get an elytra, we can just pop an eternal Stella right on our elytra and not have to worry about it breaking at any point. So let me craft with the rest of our eyes of ender, do a little bit of mining, and then we will finally head off to the end. All right, so after way too much mining, we have enough for three Eternal Stellas, which is sweet. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put one of these away from my Elytra. We're gonna grab one of them, and then we will put one on our pickaxe. Wait, how do we do this? Should be in the smithing table, right? Or I wonder, because if I put my ax in here, it just says too expensive. Like, we have too many enchants on here. Is that what's going on? Or can we not use the Eternal Stella on Buddy Steel tools? No, we definitely should be able to. I wonder if it's the enchants. I wonder if it's because it's enchanted, it won't let us put the Eternal Stella on. Like, I wonder if that has to be, like, the first thing you put on the tool. All right, here we go. I've got my old Buddy card chest piece. So I'll grab that and a grindstone. We'll clear the enchant off of here and then see if we can put the Eternal Stella on. So right now it will not let us do it. But then if we grind the enchantment off, oh, then it does let us do it. Okay. So I think what we'll have to do with our pickaxe then is basically craft a new one. So we'll need another fortune three book, efficiency five book, unbreaking three book, buddy binding book. That might not be too big of a deal, um, but we will need the books to do this. I think for now, I'm gonna go ahead and just use a right click on one of my eternal Stellas. And when we're in the end, maybe we can get some cool enchanted books in those end cities. Um, I think they have enchanted books. And then we can use those enchants to get this back up and going. But for now, we'll just do a right click. And then when you right click, you can see that our durability just kind of slowly ticks up on all of our tools and weapons and armor. So that'll heal everything up and we should be pretty much good to go. All right. And then we should have everything in this backpack here that we're going to need for our trip. Um, we've got that Eternal Stella for our wings, flint and steel and obsidian to make a portal when we get there, enough wither skulls for nine wither battles, a ton of arrows, and then a ton of blocks, and looks like we forgot our bow. So we'll grab our bow back out of here. I enchanted one with flame on breaking three, power five. So that should be all we need to, um, take down the ender dragon and the withers. And then... I think we're pretty much good to go. So let's go ahead and throw our first ender pearl and be on our way. And we are going this way. Oh, and of course the first one breaks. Well, good thing we crafted plenty of extras. So I think we're getting close. Every time I throw the ender pearl, it's kind of going a slightly different direction. So I think pretty soon here, we will reach the stronghold. And I'm a little worried. I gotta be honest. I am scared <laughs> to fight the Ender Dragon. It's been a while since I've done it, and I remember the last few times I've did it um, and gone and busting. I have. Oh, looks like we're going down here. I have, in fact, just fell into the void and lost everything. So, wish me luck, guys. But hopefully, this goes all off without a hitch, and I don't end up dying. And looks like we come right into the library here. All right, let's go find the portal and grab all these goodies along the way. Well, that's certainly one way to get around to the stronghold. Just a big open <laughs> cave cutting through it. It's a buddy card enderman. Oh my god, hello friend. Um. Oh man, I don't think... Oh god, I hit him. 
Oh my god. Uh, there's a baby zombie. Uh, okay, ignoring the baby zombie, is there a way? Oh my god. Okay, I will not let off. There we go. Oh my god, the baby zombie dropped a body card. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, so Enderling. So what does he say? Like, eight glue for five Xylix, one soul for five Xylix, shiny version, and then one crystal for two Xylix. Those are some pretty interesting trades. I don't know. Okay, I don't have a way to take this guy home or name tag him. You guys let me know. Do I need to put a name tag on him? Or will he? is he persistent? Um, we might not be able to keep this guy. We might have to wait till we find a guy closer to our base, or maybe, um, we can go to the nether by our base and get one of those. Um, so let me know if I need to put a name tag on him, and if I do, maybe I'll start carrying some name tags and a backpack around with me, so that way the next time we find one of them, we can snatch him up and then have a little trading buddy, and we can start to get some Xylex and work towards finishing all of the buddy card stuff we have to do. Hey, we found it. Okay. <laughs> Man, that was that was a tough one. It ended up being like up here. <laughs> so like the only way to get it was go through there's an iron door here. So the only way to go through it was like jump up a few blocks and then go through this iron door from this cave. Um it looks really unassuming just the iron door here. But came through here into here. And we've got our end portal. All right, so we got our bow, we got our arrows, we got our sword ready, we got our ender pearl, got our food in our hot bar. I think we're ready to go. Let's go defeat the dragon. Oh, perfect spawn. I hate, I hate it when you get those spawns that are like out over the void. Um, cause it's just so risky. Cause you guys gotta block over to the dragon and then fight it and yeah, that's no fun. Oh, I'm so good at that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I've ever done it like through the bars like those like you're supposed to. Oh, never mind. It's easy. We can snipe that one. We'll get that one from here. Yep, easy. We can shoot that guy. Up over to this one. Ah, uh, not quite. <laughs> Got one more caged one. And there's one up there. And that's it. Time to take down the dragon. What the hell is he doing? Just kind of hiding in the tower. I've never seen <laughs> the dragon do that before. Just kind of circling around the tower. Um, waiting for him to come down. He only came down once so far, which was kind of too bad, but okay. looks like he's coming down for another time. So this should be it. We should be able to take him down right here as he freaks out. This should be it. Just a few more hits. There we go. The and well, that was pretty easy. Um, I think the actual end busting might be a little bit more tougher and where the actual challenge of this is going to come in. But let's grab all of this awesome experience. And then I think we're just going to hop right into taking down some withers. So I know there's like a way where if you dig under the end portal, where you can like place a wither down. Um, and basically it makes it so that you can basically like kill it for free. You don't have to actually fight it, which I'm going to do because I do not like fighting the weather. I am very bad at it and I always die, but this is not something I've done before. So I'm going to see if I can figure this out and hopefully get us a few nether stars. We should have enough for three, uh, nether stars right away. All right. So I think I've got this right. So it's two blocks below the portal You do like a T shape like that. Soul sand there, and then three wither skulls. I think that's all you need to do. Um, and then he should be trapped. Hopefully that worked. We'll move back a bit for the explosion, and it looks like it was successful. So now we can just easily kill him, and then repeat times three. Oh. 
Oh, that is absolutely the way to do that. Boom, first nether star. That took like 30 seconds, and I died zero times. That was great. Okay, we got our torch, so we can go ahead and dig down here, do that and do that, and get our dragon egg. Then we'll come over here and go check out the end. And I know this mod pack has the endergenic expansion, um, so it shouldn't be the default end. We should actually see some pretty cool stuff. What do we got? Blue roof tile. Cool. <laughs> those those random one anymore aren't that great. I feel like I've only gotten like one like actually good thing, and it was like a hummingbird spawn egg. Like that's really not even that good. It's just cool. <laughs> but if I wanted to, I could automatically make hummingbirds. And that was a pretty rough spawn. Yeah. Oh, we do we got an Ender Slime Island, which we should definitely go check out and grab the trees. Um, but actually getting back to land is going to take a minute. All right. So we made it to the Ender Slime Island. And look at that. We got an achievement for it. It's pretty cool. And I'm not seeing any end cities or any like special end generation. Um, Cause I know we have the endergenic expansion mob, but I'm not really seeing any cool generation. So we're definitely gonna have to do quite a bit of exploring here to get some cool stuff. But in the meantime, I will grab a whole bunch of this ender slime grass. Um, we'll grab some of the congealed ender slime and let's just keep on exploring. Oh, it looks like we found our first structure and it looks like a crashed ship. I have not seen this before. This must be added by one of the mods. Um, I wonder if this thing actually has a lighter in it or just some like regular loot. Okay, we've got an orb of temporarily temporary flight, five minutes. It's pretty cool. We got some end buddy cards. That's awesome. Um, and it looks like that might be it. Yeah, it looks like the rest of this ship might just be solid. Oh, it's not. There is more loot. What do we got in here? Got a fire aspect piercing book, an end city map. Ooh, 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 that's sweet. And then some books, empty maps, paper. We'll grab that stuff. Okay, so we got an end city map. So that should make it really easy to go ahead and find the next city. Awesome. Okay, looks like there was one more chest in here, and we got some boring leggings, a fireworks star. I might actually keep that. A phantom membrane. I'll want that. Um, and then tomato seeds, popcorn fruit, all the rest of this can stay, but I do want these three blocks. And here's where that backpack comes in handy. And then I might, I don't know if I want to use this orb of temporary flight now for like end busting. Probably not. I think I'll just hang on to it, um, for now and then maybe use it at some other point eventually. But let's see where we're at. We are up in a corner, so I will guess I'll keep this on me. We want to go southwest, which would be this way. So I guess we will start heading southwest, and hopefully we can appear on this map sooner than later. All right, so we found the first end city. It actually really wasn't too far. It was maybe like 100 blocks away or something. Um, and I popped on my end set body metal, because essentially what that does is it clears the levitation effect. So even if this guy hits me, I'm not going to start floating up and <laughs> getting annoyed and frustrated when I'm flying around everywhere. And it looks like this place is a bust. Um, I saw that I had no ship and I had this tower and I thought maybe there was some loot up here. But it looks like it does not have any loot. So I think I'm just going to keep heading uh, what was the south southwest. And we'll just keep exploring and hopefully maybe find some more end cities. Oh, and check that out. You can still see that old little tower we just explored, and there is a new city, and it looks like there is indeed a ship. Oh, and even a craft ship, too. Nice. All right, let's go loot this thing, grab our elytra. And one thing I forgot is that we actually need two elytras, because I want to make the magic feather, which takes an elytra, but I also want to just have an elytra. So we'll probably loot this end city and then keep on going. And look at that. We got a new backpack. <laughs> uh, the random audio is quite um, quite silly, but it's still fun to break. All right, so I think I'm actually going to start with the crashed end ship. Got a rubber ducky and end city map. Ooh, I wonder where that's going to. Oh, it's right there. Cool. 
<laughs> uh, we'll grab the ender pearls and the book. And there's got to be some more stuff in here, right? Yeah, we got to clear out the boat and then see what other loot we can find. Oh, it actually looks like it's just a half boat. I guess it was just that one chest. That's too bad. Let's go to the city. Our first loot room. What do we got? We got some dust. We got a music disc. We got some goodie cards and some diamond armor. More of that dust, more diamond armor. Not too bad. Not too great either, to be honest, but um, at least it's something. Do I risk it with my ender staff and see if I can jump over there? Um, it's not directly over the void, but no, I don't think I risk it. That's that's a little too scary for me. We'll we'll get close and then we can use our ender staff to jump on over there, but not from here. We're not gonna try. Maybe from here. You know what? Let's just do it. Ugh. You know what? That was not bad. It was not bad at all. Got our instant healing potions, which I actually think I'm just gonna leave. We got our little shulker here. Then some loot. A third temporary flight orb. A fourth temporary flight orb. Um, so yeah, those things apparently are very easy to get. And finally, we get our elytra. And what I'm gonna do right away Grab my Eternal Stella, and we did not bring a smithing table. Oh, no. Uh, oh, man, what do we need to do that? Two iron and four wood. We don't have any wood. So what I might do in that case is when I was up here, I did see it looks like we've got some sort of end biome over there. Now, I wonder if those trees count as wood. I think it's worth going over there and checking, because um, it would be it would be in our best interest to enchant our elytra with um, unbreaking infinity immediately. So let's go ahead and go for our first flight. Oh, and what I do want to check. Okay, that's what I thought. I saw a comment, and I just want to say thank you to whoever commented that. Um, the boots. The double jump boots do not work with um, the flight. So I'm actually going to pop my boots off. Um, and then, yes, and then I can fly. So I'll have to craft a second pair of buddy steel boots to be able to actually fly in the future here. But yeah, that'll work for now. And it looks like the staff does work to kind of like shoot us off. It's not as great as using the rockets um because it's not infinite you can't like spam it and keep going but i think it should be enough to get us around and let's see if we can craft this down we can can we make a crafting batch we can and let's see if we can make ourselves a smithing table with some of this iron we found there we go smithing table we will pop our elytra off put in there put our stella in get our indestructible elytra and never have to worry about repairing it again now all of this stuff Ooh, why does it move oh i don't like that that's gross like is all this stuff used for something or is it all just decoration i might in the, in the next episode or i guess before the next episode i might take some time kind of look into the energetic expansion and just kind of see what it's all about because um, I really haven't used it too much so for now I'm just gonna go get my second elytra so we can make our flight thing and then we'll get out of here Ooh, are these guys nice Ooh, can I put a saddle on them Sorry, I know I was, I was just going to go get my elytra, but this is... Huh. Do I kill it? Does it have good loot? <laughs> it looks so silly. What do you drop? You drop some... Buffalo hide. Or, or buffalo hide. Make a buffalo vest. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we're just going to keep on exploring. Then maybe we'll come back and make ourselves a buffalo vest if we can figure out what it's used for. And we made it. 
Last end city. So I'm just going to fly right into the ship here. Go grab our second elytra and our two flight stones, assuming both these just have those again. And then I'll go through, loot the whole city, and we will head home. Oh, looks like we only got one orb of flight this time. That's too bad. All right, so from that end trip, we got quite a bit of really cool stuff. We've got one, two, three, four, five, we got six orbs of temporary flight, got a whole bunch of diamond armor we can melt down, I ended up getting my two elytras, so that way we can craft our magic feather as well as just have an elytra. We ended up getting 21 end buddy card packs, which we'll be opening up later in the episode. And we even managed to grab some chorus fruit, some gold, and just some other miscellaneous goodies from that trip. So I'm going to go ahead and sort all this out and get all of our stuff together to craft our magic feather. And then we will go ahead and have creative flight. So to use my elytra, I did have to take off my buddy steel shoes uh, because the double jump does not allow you to fly. And so I just threw on a random pair of diamond boots so I had a little bit of protection and <laughs> I cannot take those off. Um, so I think what we're going to do is I will uh, pop my magic feather in there as well as I guess just everything else realistically. So put all of our things in there um, and then we'll just go for a little bit of a swim. Well, that's extremely silly. <laughs> when you swim the the little uh sword on my back like just a little spinning that's so weird I wonder why it does that i'm at 64 levels oh okay maybe that wasn't the best idea oh no oh that was so incredibly dumb um at least we got our boots off i guess oh man that sucks. All right, so we need a beacon and a magic feather. And then we can go in our quest book under lifesavers and complete the other game mode quest. But we are going to need some more iron blocks to actually build our beacon. So we'll go ahead and craft a stack of those. And we'll find a more permanent home eventually for it, but we can just go ahead and do it right over here. So I think it's five by five. Three. No, it's seven by seven at the bottom, right? Like that. And then we accidentally place some blocks down here. We'll grab those and we had just enough. So then I'll grab my beacon put my iron in and because we may as well give it some effects so what would be good here I would say probably <sighs> speed and regen are resistant hmm I'm gonna go with speed I think speed would be the best so now it does say this has a charm slot okay so that way we can get it out of there then I'm assuming we got to take our boots off and we can fly. <laughs> Amazing. So now we can just fly around our base and <laughs> get out of range. So there is a range to it, it looks like. Um, and the range isn't crazy high. So what we'll probably do is just kind of move that beacon around spot to spot until eventually we can get enough beacons to kind of pepper around and have full range everywhere. But until then, this will definitely help out a lot. My one question is, I know in some mod packs when you're flying, it's like harder to mine. And I feel like that is, yeah, it is the case. So it's a little, takes a little bit longer to mine, but realistically that's not that much longer. Um, especially because our tools are so high power now. I mean, we're at 98% buddy steel power. Um, so they're definitely going to work pretty well here. That's sweet. We have creative flight. Ooh, okay. So it looks like I messed this up and we actually need one more layer to get our full beacon. Um, you can see right now we got our one, two, three. We're on a third layer and we do still need a fourth. So let's get that fourth layer on there and we'll see how that improves our range. 
because ideally we should be able to get around our entire base with creative flight and even just with a little bit we've built at the edges i still kind of lose it so hopefully this brings us just enough so that way our entire base that we have built so far is completely covered wow i really thought one stack of iron blocks was going to be enough but looks like we got to go grab some more and while we're here let's go ahead and craft our infinity wand too because we can use that to complete our beacon build and it's done so now let's go ahead and power this on. We'll give it, I changed my mind. I think I want haste instead of speed because we already get speed from our buddy metal. So I think that haste might be a better option. I don't want haste to our regen. I'm gonna go with regen for now, but I might change that to haste too in the future if like we're doing a big mining project. So before, the end of our range was kind of like right at the end of this building here. And it still is. Oh, I, I really thought that like extending the strength would also extend the range, but it doesn't really seem like it. All right, that's okay. We still got one more nether star so we can expand this and we have our beheading sword. So if we really need to, we can very easily go get more wither skeleton skulls. Now, judging from the comments in the last episode, I think I'm actually going to put these inverted lights back. However, I think I'm also going to use some slabs to kind of cover them up a bit. So the first thing I want to do is I think I want to kind of extend them along the whole train here. Because before how they were, it almost looked like, or felt like wheels on the train versus like a big hover thing. So I think we'll try like extending the whole way. And then I'll come back through with slabs and we'll see if maybe if they're covered up a bit, if that looks a bit better. I do like that. I do think that looks a bit better. Looks a bit more like it's a consistent thing and it doesn't look like it's on wheels. It still looks pretty futuristic and like it is hovering. Oh, it's awesome. I'll go ahead and do that to the other side and then do that to the second train car. And I'm going to have to craft more of these lamps, which kind of sucks because they're pretty expensive. It's two glowstone and one redstone per lamp, um, which may not sound crazy expensive, but we're pretty short on both of those things. So I'll get this finished up here and then we will take a look at how it feels. Oh yeah, that definitely looks a whole lot better with like the bar going all the way down and the half slabs. Yeah, that'll be really nice. So we can't end the episode without doing any work on our new mega base. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go ahead and dig a path up from our train station here up to our workshop. And I think our entrance, I'm going to do it right here. And then save this for some kind of big map decoration and then have more decorations kind of throughout here. Um, but I think this would be a good as place as any to actually dig that little tunnel and get it connected up to our workshop. Alright, so after just a little bit of work, we now have a staircase that we can use to get from our train station all the way up into our workshop. Now one thing you'll notice about this little staircase is there's no stairs. And that's because I've got a better plan than stairs. I think what we're going to do is I'm going to run shafts and belts all the way through here and make like escalators going up and down. Um, so that way we can just kind of like run over here and like automatically go up and down our little uh, staircase here. So let's just start with the first one going from our kind of landing up to the workshop. And hopefully we can get this all in one part. Oh, not quite. So I'll have to split it up, which I'll do in the middle like that. And then we will continue it up all the way to the top. Now, hopefully this little bump in the break won't be too bad. Um, it might just fling us all the way over, but we may have to do a little hop here. Um, but we'll see how this goes once we hook this up to some power, which we can do pretty easily because our workshop is right under here. Actually, our power is like right here. So that's actually 
pretty much perfect. So I'm going to come off of this gearbox here. We'll just do another gearbox. Some shafts coming out this way. And then our other shaft is right here. So we want to come here. We'll go down with a vertical gearbox and then over at this height with a horizontal gearbox. Like that, bring our shaft down here, bring our shaft over here. Another gearbox, and then finally we hook it all up. And I think that's going the wrong way, but that's easy enough to fix, because then all we need to do is just come in here and pop down another gearbox. So now this is going the right way, so we will <laughs> automatically come up there, that's awesome. Might eventually want to speed this up, but I guess it would speed up when we eventually speed up our workshop as a whole. That should work out. Now, let's get these two hooked up together. So that'll be simple enough to do. Um, all we're going to do is take some shafts here, and put some belts here. And I know it's not the prettiest way to do it, but we'll come back through and decorate this whole up. Oh, and there we go. We can just run straight up. it. Oh, that's sweet. So now when we want to come up the stairs... And I'll do the same thing going down. All we gotta do is run up to this and run right up and we're at our workshop. That's awesome. Okay, so I went ahead and added our little escalators down on this bottom spot here. And then I added our down escalator here. So I can go all the way up and all the way down really easily. Now I still have to decorate this hallway. And um, sometimes going up these, you kind of like hit the stairs, um, especially going, going down. Um, so I will have to come back and clean this up and make it look a bit nicer, but I think that'll have to happen in the next episode because we've already done quite a lot here. So I think this is going to be where we jump into opening all of those end set buddy cards we got. And another super nice thing about having flight and our elytra now is we can just fly up super high, stop flying, and then take off into the distance and very quickly travel as far as we want. I think this cuts our trip from our old base to new base, like from like five minutes to like 13 seconds, which is super cool. All right, so we've got our 21 end set buddy cards. Let's go ahead and grab our end buddy binder. We're missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards. So with this, I'm not too confident we'll get it all, but hopefully we do. Okay, wasn't everything, but we now only have three holes left. So I think just a little bit more and busting and we should be able to complete our end buddy card set. Oh, got one more in here. Oh, never mind. We only have two holes left. Awesome. So two cards left and we're done with our end buddy card set. And that's going to be it for today's episode. I know today's episode was a little bit different and we just kind of did some exploring um, and only made like one small contraption if you can even call it that. However, I had a lot of fun and I hope you guys did too. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.